Okay, guys, fifth home win on the spin. Yeah, good response from the players. Um, I thought Leamington might do a bit more actually than than, than they did. They were, I think possibly they were they showed us a lot of respect. Um, and in the end, if you keep plugging away and, and, and you've got the spirit you've got, then you, you're going to keep creating chances. I know we won from a penalty situation, but probably the last 10 minutes we created one or two good chances and it, it could possibly have been more. Yeah, I don't think the scoreline reflected the, the pattern of play. There was only one side really ever looked like scoring other than their goal, which was, was an error in. Yeah, he, they'd had the shot from, from distance that they got the goal from, was a bit lucky, we probably should have cleared it. And then after that, it, a great response straight away to turn it around so they great could get, the get no momentum. And then it was all us after that from the, you know, the 60 minutes after. Yeah, um, you changed things again slightly today. Um, we said last week you said you'd look at our Leamington set up and, and uh, you slightly changed it. You brought Ted Cribbley back in and uh, changed the things in the centre of midfield. Yeah, go on. No, just basically because they were strong. They, we knew again, like Worcester, they were going to set up a little bit like them. Um, just thought a little bit with Ted's height, maybe. And um, like I say, Pilk's come back in, quality from the left hand side. And like I said, he showed from the goal what he's all about. You know, I think the finish basically put us back in the game. And um, I just feel there's going to be many games like that, Russ, where teams are going to shut up shop. And then as the game goes on, they're going to get deeper and deeper. And again, I keep saying it, but the quality off the bench, we get opportunities, we've got so much quality in areas, and that's what it's going to take to, to, to do what we want to do this season. I mean, it looked like Cookie had uh, put us back in front long before the penalty. Difficult to see how that was offside when it's travelled so far. Yeah, and if you look at the, the two chances where he gave offside, there were key moments in the game where Moore was put through and was five or six yards ahead of play when he received the ball and he didn't give offside, so, yeah. then to give Cookie offside when he's just half a body's width and the ball travelled 60 yards on a free kick, I think, you know, it, it, it was a little bit unjust. To be and fair to Cookie, he was His work awesome rate probably day. deserved another goal, yeah, to be honest. Yeah, yeah, they yeah. couldn't handle him and, and, and you it know, showed him, yeah. he, he tired the two centre-halves all day and then that's where the penalties come from. Jason's got down the side of people and, and there's been that push, so, you know, he didn't score today. Cookie and he's been he frustrated have. by that, but... He was on his heels for Isaac's great ball, wasn't he? But, no, nah, never mind. It, it, you know, seven and eight will take that. Absolutely, and uh, Jason, it's, it's cool as a cucumber, slotted the penalty home when it mattered. That's yeah, and then you can. Yeah, that's what he's about. He's got good quality in front of goal, and I think on another on another day, he's the score. keeper's made an unbelievable header from a diving header from him with his feet uh, uh, to keep it at, at one all. So he'll just keep plugging away and keep working like he's doing, and, and the pair of them are, are building a good relationship now that obviously. Other teams will see Jason on the score sheet and then they'll start to worry about them too because it, it is building into something and it's gaining momentum and they're getting a good understanding of each other and what they do brilliantly is work hard for the team and, and put opposition defence under so much pressure. You uh, have been given permission, I believe, to bring in a lone striker. How, uh, how is that going? Yeah, we've both made some calls. Uh, names, Thursday, Friday and then see what happens the next couple of days. Try and get one in before Tuesday if we can and integrate them into training a couple of times and then see what we can do, see what we do with people at, at Ferriby. And yeah, North Ferriby next Saturday, which a few weeks ago looked at the top of the table clash. They've had a bit of a rocky road, but they checked that today at Colwyn Bay, so it still won't be an easy game. No, definitely not. No, they're packed with, with quality players and, and the, the manager, you know, demands, he, he, yeah, he demands work rate uh, and determination, etc. And with, so we'll have to match that. We've got that in our in abundance at the moment with the, with the wins coming back to back. and. And it'll be tough for, for Ferriby if we can go about our job like we did today. Um, we, we're right on top of our game confidence-wise as well. And, and it's maybe a good time to go to Ferriby, I don't it's know. good to see that we're matching teams, you know, with the spirit and the, the character and that. So, I'm not say the quality then comes out in the end. And the FA Cup draw on Monday as well. What are you thinking about that? <laughs> not really, we haven't, have we? Just... No, you just take what comes yeah. to you, unfortunately. Sometimes it's Case fortunate for you. Sometimes it's not fortunate. So if we can get a fortunate res uh, draw, then then you know you've got to make sure you the FA Cup at this uh, in that in this one in this particular round now it's all about how, what you do mentally and how you approach the game. So we're on the back of, a, of some good results, and if we can not get beat by Ferriby, keep them below us, keep Great. that gap with them, that goes into the FA Cup full of confidence, regardless of who it is, and they've got to worry about us. Thanks very much, guys. Cheers, cheers, Russ. Thank you.